In this video, I'm going to show you how to work on two files at the same time. So I have these two files. And if we look up in the top left, we can see that both files are active. Uh, I went to the home and I opened up the various things that are there. Um, and I can click on each of these tabs to jump between one or the other uh, and work on them somewhat separately. I can, if I want to, work on them simultaneously and see them simultaneously. So one way that I can do that is I can click and drag this window out so that it's a separate uh, individual window. And I can do that to the second one as well. So I have both of these windows showing the entire Photoshop tools all, all along the sides and then their respective programs. And I will have to kind of like rearrange and move these and click and drag to uh, get them in a way where I can see both of them. But that'll allow me to click on you know, this particular file that I want to access uh, that image and move things and then click on a different file and then to move those things. So that can be very helpful if I'm trying to make two scenes that work together or if I want to take assets from one file and put them into another one so that I can have the deer in this area as well. And I can add that to the scene, make it bigger and kind of change up where they're located, depending on what it is I want to do with two scenes. So that's one way. A little bit clunky because I do have to still uh, arrange these and get these to fit within the overall window. But that's a way that you guys can work on things. If I want to put these back, I can click and drag. And notice if I click and drag this up into this window, we get this blue bar over on the side. That's embedding it back into the overall scene. And we can see we have it right there. Um, because it's kind of like forced it out, it makes it a little bit difficult to grab this guy. But once I do have it, I can put that back into here and it's all consolidated. A different way that we can work is we can come up to the top in Window. Uh, window deals with uh, everything we see in the Photoshop window, which is most all the different tools and palettes. But near the top, we can play with the arrangement. The arrangement is how the different windows are arranged in the scene. And so I can put them up in a variety of different ways. And right now, since I have two files, I have access to how I put this together that deals with two things. If I had more files, I could kind of even play with that even more. But right now, I'm going to do two up vertically. And you can see that uh, there is no like awkward empty space. Uh, the windows are still embedded into this scene. And if I want to, I can give a little bit more priority to one over the other. But in that same way, I can move over and I can move uh, around and adjust things in either scene. As well as if I wanted to, I can grab assets from one scene and bring it over to another. Another thing that can be very helpful with this is if I want to work on the same file, but I want to be able to work on it from far away and close up. So notice that this is called house example. If I come up to window and arrange near the bottom, I can create a new window for house example. And so if I click on that, I have two of the same file and I can move this over to this side and we can see that I have the same file. And what's helpful about this is say that I want to put something like on the porch. I'm going to zoom in really close here so that I can see it, but I still want to see how it's affecting the entire, uh, the entire design. And so I'm going to color pick, I don't know, maybe like this orange color. I'll come to this side and I'm going to create a, a new layer. And I can start to draw in a figure. Or in this case, I'm just creating a sphere. But you can see, as I draw on the left side, it is adding it on the right side. And I can kind of play around with um, its overall shape and really look at close details, but never lose track of how that thing looks in the overall design. And if I want to, I can even come over to the design on the right, the full design, and I can draw on this and it'll update it on the smaller design. So this can be very convenient to, to work at multiple scales without having to worry about zooming too much. And you can see I got 
in roughly where I want things, but then I can come to the zoom side and I can fill in each of those small uh, portions. Then when it's like this, or if I have like a window that got pulled out, I can come up to window, arrange, and ask it to consolidate all the tabs. And it'll go back to our normal view that we have where each of them have their own individual tab up at the top. So that is working with different windows within Photoshop.